Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 3 Redux. Last time we actually finally turned the wizard, evil wizard Manan into a cat. You won't look so clever once you've been shrunk down to size. You won't look so clever once... You won't look... Just wait, you wretched boy. Change me back immediately. Sorry. Don't know how. Liar. Actually, that's true. We don't know how. Change me back. So, keeping your keeping your voice. You'll never be a prince. You've been a pauper too long. Actually, we just don't know how to turn you back. It said it would turn you into a cat forever. You don't can't just reverse the effects, and you should know your own spell, so you should know we can't change you back. Also, strange. There's nothing in the painting now. Anyway, time to go get. The setup for our final spell we have to make. As I forget to go get the ingredients because I'm a dumb. Get the, all our items. So now we can carry those forever now with no worries. So we still have the glowing on them. Take all. I know I have to be outside before we even use the map. Come on. Pathfinding, please. You pull. Uh, this. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Let's Ouch. see. Oh, you hit the. Anchor. I forgot that was a thing that you could do. Okay, I have to go left, apparently. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Uh... Does this work? You kneel and scoop some of the mud onto the wooden spoon. There we go. And then I need a cup of water. You scoop up a cupful of ocean water. Ocean, sea, same thing, I think, in terms of the spell, actually. Anyway, let's go make it. You pull out... You feel it. Now, because I turned Manana into a cat, he's going to try to troll here. You unlock the o inside. Because down here, the normal cat and an Nana as a cat can actually appear down here and actually get you killed. Oh, he's not there this time. That's lucky. Sometimes he'll be there, and basically, you have to either hug this wall very carefully, or if you don't, he'll just. Your character. Alexander will just stop here, the cat will see you and just jump on you and knock you all the way down to the bottom and you die. Or if you accidentally trip and but if you accidentally trip and fall, then Manana will actually just laugh at as a cat will actually just laugh at your misfortune. Okay. Actually I'm gonna save. Making last spell. Did I do the deep sleep one? Yes, I did. Okay, I did all of them. Yep. Okay, here we go. Brewing a storm. That's what I think I need now. Yes, did. 
Got the powder. Did it. Got it. Got it. Yep. Bring a storm. One cup of ocean water. Oh, they did put it as ocean water. Okay. One cup of ocean water into a bowl. You put. Light charcoal brazier, okay. You light. You place the bowl. You remove the bowl before it starts to boil. Then it said put mud in it. You add a spoon. Add one pitch toadstool powder. You add the toadstool powder. You save the empty jar. Blow into the hot brew. You blow into the steaming bowl. You shot the following, okay. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Brewing a Storm incantation. From nature. I now call on thee, the power of the land and sea. When brew is stirred, all should be warned, the might of the approaching storm. Okay. You wave the magic and put it in an empty jar. You carefully pour the storm brew into the empty jar. The charcoal brazier burns out. There we go. We finally made the last spell of the game. We got everything we need. Okay, good. He didn't show up in to troll. Unless I can get him to. Get down there. Really? Wow, that's... Okay, that's extremely rare. Unless Manan Cat doesn't... I'm pretty sure he does. It's just... It's rare for him to not want to. Anyway. No, continue playing. It's not what I wanted to click on. You can't... You pull out... You... I was say... Don't tell me I can't use that. You feel a strange pull. Oh, I could have teleported right to the cave and made the travel easier. Whoops. Before we move on with that. Huh. Never saw that before. That might be another reference to another game in the series. I'm not sure, actually. Anyway. More deaths. There is no need. Okay, it's no need to disturb him. That's re definitely a reference to another game in the series. Must you always follow your peers? <laughs> okay. I find it weird how that's a death when when you're in the water. You could from that distance you could just swim to the shore, but apparently that somehow kills you. You politely speak to the sailor on the dock. He growls at you in response. Quit your yabbering, boy. I ain't got no time for you. I gotta keep trespassers away from this here jolly boat. Scram! Insistently, you speak to the guard again. He seems displeased as he snarls at you. I'm warning you, boy. I got a tricky sword and better go away before I can't stop myself. That's it. I warned you to quit hanging around. The seaman draws well. a sharp cutlass and runs you clean through. You drop to the dock, dead. The seaman was just doing his job.
Okay. The sailors peer at you through the weary eyes and continue swilling their rum. One who looks like the captain pauses and drunkenly speaks to you. Oh, I mean, back out. Be ye wanting passage on me ship? What you running from? <laughs> oh, it's no matter as long as you got gold. Let me see how much you got. Okay, sure. It's not much, but. There's nothing. Here we go. Winch! Get yeah, yeah. As you bring out the purse, the cap. Hi, lad. I sees you do have a wee bit of gold. It's less of me regular fare, but I'll give you passage anyways. We'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men down their rum in one long draft, then leave the tavern. Okay, we have everything. Let's get it going. Hi, the captain said you'd be coming along. Get on board. What could possibly go wrong with this? Nothing like a little bit of salt air to perk up a boy's spirits. You feel excited about the upcoming journey. <laughs> Oi there, me lad. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Captain Bloodlet. I'll be your host for this year voyage. Or what you'll be remembering of it. <laughs> Pretty flag, ain't it? You're... pirates? Afraid so. We'll be showing you to your quarters now. herp a derp a derp a derp Set course for the island. Aye, Captain. Well, actually, no, you've been stranded the whole t Wait, if you're stranded the whole time, how do you know they were part- Never mind, we're not gonna think about that. I'll just take this box. It's holding- It's holding- Your hands are- There we go. On a pirate ship. With all the you like your f hmm. All right, I don't have my stuff, of course. Get close. I wanted to go down, not up. Because going up is basically death. We're nearing the island, Captain. Orders? As soon as we drop anchor, we'll head for shore. The treasure's assuredly still there, waiting for me. Um, I mean, us. Do you think the map is accurate? No reason to think otherwise. The last captain of the ship insisted the map was genuine. Twas the last thing he said before I ran him through. Oh. What about our new passenger? You think he's up to the task? Are ye questioning me judgment? 
No, Captain. It's just that we can't be known if we can trust him. You be thinking to make a run for it? Fat chance of that. It's a dangerous journey to the center of the island. Even if he made it that far, there's an impassable cliff face on the other side with a sheer drop to the ocean below. And if by some slim chance he managed to climb down, it's a mighty long swim to nearest land. And then there's the sharks. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have much of a choice. Do you think there'll be traps on the island, Captain? Well, of course there'll be traps, you empty-headed sea urchin. The treasure was buried in the days when those wizard characters used to run things. A thousand years ago, so it be told. The pirate captain to whom the treasure belonged was something of a magician himself. Who knows what deadly devices were conjured up? Well, don't just stand there. Go get him! Hi, Captain. A few hours later. Take this parchment. It's got a lot of silly scribbling on it, but it gives you the best route through that jungle. Now get in there and find that treasure. And try not to get killed. Aye, it's a lot of trouble finding someone who won't be missed. And who's foolish enough to set foot on my ship. So this is actually exclusive to this version of the game. This wasn't in the original at all, this treasure island area. Okay, then. Got a shovel and this map. You examine the treasure map and read the writing scrawled upon it. Through all of life's long, lonely walks, or skips, runs, or trips, true balances are keenly sought. Take heed to avoid tips. A tasteful trio, all distinct, are ways to find new density. Their traits, most heavy, norm, and light, will weigh against longevity. Hmm. I don't see how I might. Ah. Yep, this is a weight... weight puzzle. So this will go over well, especially when I do... That's the heavy one, so I'm just gonna... This won't end well. You'll soon see for yourself whether the world is flat. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Actually, that's all the time I have for now, so this has been Vise, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.